At my previous schools and in other previous schools while on placement, I've worked with projectors and interactive whiteboards. The lamps would, would, would just stop working, the, the boards would stop working, which affects teaching obviously because a teacher may set up first thing in the morning um, with the lesson plans, not just for the one lesson but for the, for the full day. So if there's a technical problem, they're then stumped because it means they've got to change six lessons possibly for that day. So in effect, the children get a bad deal. We're a special school catering for children with a, a, a variety of special educational needs. We decided to go with the interactive touchscreen panels because we saw them at the roadshow that Stockport put on and elementary technology were there and they, they showed us the, the different features that they have and we decided that they would be the best thing to have with our children. If, if a child is confident about themselves, feeling good about themselves, they're going to make, make uh, vast steps with their learning. A lot of our children have difficulty with some educational things and, and even with some of the manual dexterity problems that they, they have. But these panels, these interactive touchscreen panels, is something that they can really use well. The children we have are, are used to touchscreen technology. They, they all seem to have tablets and screens that they use at home. And it only seemed the natural thing to do that we're bringing them to a brand new school and we wanted them to have the latest equipment. And for me, these touchscreen panels are the, are the best that we could get. With the new touchscreen technology, it means there's no need to calibrate the boards, which saves time in lessons, meaning they're always able to use. And when pupils are coming up to move objects, there's no disorientation between the movements. Everything is in line and equal, which makes things flow a lot easier. The children like using them because they can come up to the panels, they can touch them, they get that instant feedback. The children are able to come up and use them, not only individually, but is in small groups, and there's an activity that we can do where we can all touch the screen, especially for playing interactive games. When writing on the board, we can have more than one pupil highlighting, which the children really like to get involved in. It means that the children are more involved and it makes it a lot easier to teach. So the technology actually helps our children in terms of their confidence. So confidence improves, with the confidence improving, self-esteem improves. We are hoping, touch wood, it's too early yet, but we may have two students who, who will be the first students we've had to get an A grade in, the, in their GCSE and that would be a breakthrough, which again, the technology has helped. In terms of working with elementary technology, from day one we, we, we've had a, a contact, so picking up a phone we can, we, we, we can get immediate reaction, which is important for us because we do not have a, a, a technician as such. We have a vision of what works for children, we know how our children learn, so we can have a, a discussion with elementary technology. They will have access to software that maybe we've not come across, so they can recommend to us, well, for a level three child, this might work, or, or you know, so, so that interaction, the, the educational side of things, um, elementary technology have been able to, to, to help with that as well.